Hey guys, Dalton Smith from MPI Productions, and today I'm really excited to share a brand new board with you from Slide Hand Boards. This is the Fish. I've spent the last week or two riding the board, trying it in all sorts of conditions, and to make it short and sweet, this board is sick. I was fully convinced that after the Bula came out, there was not much more that Slide could do to make me fall in love with the board, but somehow they did it all over again. Off rip, looking at the board, you can tell that this is a lot different from both of the previous models that we've gone over. And the first thing that I really noticed was not necessarily the shape, it was how much foam there was right in the middle of the board. And when I got in the water for the first time, I immediately noticed that this thing has a lot of float. I see that it gives me a lot more drive and a lot more speed. I'm not really bogging, I'm just completely driving down the line. We look at the tail, it's got that classic fish design. On the rear of the board on the bottom, we do start to get a little bit sharper of an edge and then it completely rounds out. We've placed this board pretty much right in the middle in between the wedge and the bula as far as what waves this is designed for. Your wedge, you can see, has a big surface area. The bula is a nugget. This thing is small and it has this nice concave. The fish, I think, is going to be that in between her. The days where this board is a little bit too big, this board is a little bit too small, what have you, the fish is like a perfect median. I noted that we have a lot more speed. I feel like when I'm dropping in on this thing, it goes. I lean forward and because it has such, you know, smooth rails and that extra foam, I don't feel like I'm going to nosedive. When I push forward, it goes forward. And the same thing when I come back, you can see my forearm rests here in the tail. So there's a couple times that I kind of like pushed back and stalled and it slowed me down. So a lot of control for my speed. This entire last week has been less than ideal surf. It's been big, choppy, windy, and I've had a complete blast on this board. So I imagine if you take this out in some really good, clean conditions, it's gonna feel like you're on like a magic carpet. And when I was riding it, I noticed that this thing literally splits the ocean. It's just got sheeting water coming off of both sides. And again, the biggest thing about this that I like is I feel like I have a lot of control. A lot of people ask me, what board do I get? All of them, <laughs> buy all of them. If you were to start with one, whether you're experienced or not, I would recommend at this point going with the fish. If you're like, I don't know, I don't know what I want, but I want to try this out, maybe go with the fish. You're going to be able to charge big waves, small waves, everything in between, and then you can kind of decide what would be best for you from there. I think you guys are going to be in love with this board just like I am if you buy it. If you have any questions, message us, comment below. We'll tell you about all the different boards. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the water.